In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a knowledge check question or a quiz question a little bit more interesting by providing specific feedback uh, rather than just simply using the standard caption. So, let's get started. Here I have pretty much a standard quiz question slide. The only thing that makes it unique is I've added an image to help support the story that's being told through this quiz question. Uh, so the question here is, Mike is cutting the grass. He has proper head protection, safety vest, safety boots, but he's missing his eye protection. You've noticed this as a fellow employee. What should you do? So there are three possible answers that I've provided, one of which is correct and two of which are uh, not so correct. I won't say that they're wrong, it's just that they're not as ideal as obviously approaching Mike right away and letting him know he should be wearing eye protection while performing this sort of work. Now, if I choose the correct answer the way this quiz question is currently set up, you know, the, the user is going to see the correct message, click anywhere to or press Y to continue. And that's fine, they know they've got the answer correct. And if they choose one of the wrong answers, they'll get the standard message incorrect click anywhere or press Y to continue. Now the captions are great for those quick little short feedback items like like this here but in this case I wouldn't mind including a little bit more detail. Now in another video I've shown you how you can have specific captions for each answer that's in your quiz questions using the advanced answer options but I'm going to take it a step further in this video and actually give you a bit of a different navigation within the course depending on how you answer this question. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete these captions. I don't need them because I'm not going to use them. Um, you can just simply select them and click delete. I am going to keep the you must answer the question before continu continuing message because uh, I think that still applies. So we'll keep that and we'll just put it nicely in the middle of the grass here. And we're going to do something a little bit different. So we'll just double check a couple things here. Shuffle answers, that's fine. Uh, the incomplete message is there. On success, I'm not going to have it take any action. And same thing for failure. But I am going to select infinite attempts because I'm going to navigate users back to this slide to give them a second or third chance. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to select the correct answer and we're going to go to the properties panel and in this case here we're going to check off advanced answer option. Now in other videos I've shown you how you can provide specific feedback for each question. We're not going to do that in this case. Instead what we're going to do, we're going to leave that unchecked. Instead what we're going to do is we're going to jump to slide, in this case, number two. Same thing for wrong answer B. I'm going to select the advanced answer option. Again, we're in the properties panel. Uh, the feedback also will be blank, but we're going to jump to a slide, in this case, number three. And Similarly for answer C, advanced answer option, instead of continue we're going to jump to slide number four. And I've already prepared these slides in advance so we'll be able to see how that works. So very simply, let's quickly review that. So here's our correct answer slide. I give a little reinforcement at the beginning, great decision and I have a different image showing you flagging down Mike as if you're going to tell him about his eye protection. So he says, you chose to speak to Mike, there is risk to Mike's safety, but you have helped him make aware of the, ha or help, helped make him aware of the hazard. Congratulations. You're taking responsibility for safety. Click next to continue. Now this next button, we want to navigate it past this scenario. In this case I'll have it go straight to the quiz results slide, but it could go to any other slide within the course. Let's take a look at answer slide uh, number three, which is if you choose the first wrong answer. 
So it says not the best decision. You chose to speak to Mike's manager. Mike's manager can certainly address the situation, um, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, it's emphasizing that Mike could still get hurt in the meantime. So maybe there's a better choice. Click back to try again. Now, in this, in this case, the back button will take you back to the original question. Same thing with wrong answer two. In this case, slide number four. It gives you some feedback in particular to that uh, or, or particular to that uh, wrong choice. And again, it reminds you that uh, you would certainly want someone to let you know if you are making an unsafe decision. And again, click back to try again. So again, the back button will take you to slide one. So I think we're all set up right now. Let's see how this works. So we'll just preview this from the beginning. We'll preview the entire project. And we'll try some wrong answers before we get it right, just so we can see this scenario working in action. So here we are on the first slide. So again, this will give it a different look and feel. Uh, let's, uh, let's choose the first answer because it is shuffling the wrong answers or the right answers and the wrong answers. We'll just say, just leave it. Mike knows what he's doing. It's none of your business anyway. Hit submit. Now again, there's no captions on this slide. So unless I select no answer, I'm going to jump to one of those other slides. So let's see what that looks like. Submit. Hmm. Not the best decision. So I chose to leave it thinking that it really isn't my problem. And Mike certainly doesn't want me telling him how to do his job. Remember that we need to be watching out for one another. Maybe Mike just forgot to put on his safety glasses. You'd want someone to remind you before you got hurt, right? click back and try again. So we'll try this back button. This will bring us back to the question. Mike is cutting the grass. So again, we've seen this before. Uh, same order. It hasn't re-randomized it or anything like that. Let's just say, well, you know, let's tell Mike he's, he should be wearing his eye protection. So an image of myself, presumably, waving down Mike and say, hey, Mike, put on your eye protection. And it's, of course, giving me a congratulations message. You're taking responsibility for safety. Click Next to continue. And when I hit Next, I get my congratulations. You are one safe employee. I got 10 out of 10. I got 100% success. So there's just another way you can do your knowledge check questions or even your final quiz. Essentially what we've done is we've created a very small but still very functioning branch aware course. So you can actually have this course go to different parts of your Captivate project depending on how you choose those right and wrong answers. Guys, if you like the videos I'm producing, please subscribe to my channel. I encourage you to do that. Also, if you thought this video was fun and interesting, Go ahead and give me a thumbs up.